So in this video, I wanted to show how we can blur out specific areas of an image or video that we have in Final Cut Pro. So we've got a couple of examples here where we might want to blur out a certain word. So for instance, if we're on Facebook and we have someone's name showing up that we don't want to, then we can, we'll look here at how we blur out that specific section of the video. And um, we also have the option here um, to blur out something that's moving a little bit. Um, so this could be a number plate or something like that. So we'll have a look at how we create the blur and then also how we keyframe the movement of that. So we'll start with the simple version first and we're going to blur out a small part of one of these images that we don't want to be visible in our video. So I'm going to zoom in here and this is also useful to do. So we're going to zoom into 200% and then we'll use the little red box that you can see here in the gray box to kind of move around that image and I'm going to adjust my screen so I can see all of this. So this is what we're going to blur out um, and we'll come back to fit to window and then we'll zoom back in in a second to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is select our clip, come down to the bottom and turn on the effects which are these two little rectangles that we can see here to show and hide our effects and we're going to scroll down in our effects to our blur and the blur we're going to use is the Gaussian blur, very straightforward. We can drag that onto our clip and then what you'll notice is that everything is blurred out here so that's not going to be any use to us, we just want to blur out one small part of this, either a piece of text or in this case the image and the text below it. So what we're going to do, do is come up to our shape mask button in our inspector and if you don't see the inspector go to window and show in workspace and then inspector or command and form and that will bring the inspector up and now we can click on add shape mask up here and you'll see now we're blurring out a very specific area of that image but in this circle. So there are a couple of things we need to do here. Firstly, we want this to be a square. So this little lighter white circle on the left of that top green circle allows us to square off this mask, which is what we want. And then this outer um, red line allows us to sharpen up the edge of this. So now if we drag this in, we have a nice sharp edge and we can use the green boxes to resize and position this blur so it's just over that small section of the video. So we're using a, a video here but it's actually really just like a still image so you can use this on any type of image that you want. Um, we can scale it down and that's where zooming in comes in handy so if we wanted to perhaps keep the image but hide the text then we can make this a little smaller and increase the height of it and then we can modify that so we're blurring out part of that image. Now sometimes you might want your text to be to look a little like text so we can reduce the amount of this blur until that text is almost visible but not quite so it's still illegible but it's not gonna hide the fact that it's actually text around that area so if we view this at 100% so the actual size and deselect our mask by just clicking away from this section here. You can see now this is what we have. We have that blurred out text so great if you want to blur out a name on screen or something like that. Let's move to this example here. So if we come to fit here we're going to blur out the, the surf shop and the little words below that in this one. So we'll do the same thing that we did before. We'll add a Gaussian blur. We'll add the shape mask and then we'll square this off, keep it nice and tight so nice crisp edge and then we'll resize this so that it is just around that area. So now we can use that mask there and if we click away from the layer mask you can see it's masking out that text nicely until this moves at which point we need to move that layer mask. So this is where we can turn keyframing on for the position of that layer mask. So if you have a look here, we have the shape mask information at the bottom. We can add a keyframe for that mask. And now if we move back for this camera swing here, then we can select for this camera swing here, then we can select that shape mask and we can grab the middle and move it back across those words and now we're animating a little bit and we just need to 
tweak that animation. So we'll look for where the words slip out of that. So around about here, and we'll just zoom in a bit more. Again, where the zoom comes in handy, maybe just to 100%, and that will allow us to move through our clip. And we can move through the clip a few frames at a time and get that to nicely match up with the movement. So I'm just using the left and right cursors on my keyboard to move through the clip. And now you can see we can either move in big increments, and we'll move to the left here using this little red square, and we can get that back over the text, and we can just see where that text sometimes pops out. Now in theory, the less keyframes you have here, the smoother the animation of your blur will be, so I've maybe added a few too many there, but we're working through this quickly. So if I was working through this and I wanted to smooth it out, then I might want to delete some keyframes uh, once I'd got this working a bit more nicely. So again, just moving through. And you can see if we come back to fit um, here, then we've matched that movement and that blur through a few seconds of that clip now. Okay, and it's not perfect, but that was a pretty quick go at it. But we can see if we come back down and press play, we're moving the blur around. If you do want to simplify the number of keyframes that you have, then we can come down to our clip here and right click and show the video animation. And that will allow us to see that we've added lots and lots of keyframes in here. So this is going to be a part of the clip that we'd, we would want to maybe focus on. So if we use Command and Plus to zoom in, um, we can maybe look at some of these keyframes and delete a few of them so that we don't have quite so many which will smooth out the animation a little bit or make it a little less jumpy. So I'm right clicking or Control and clicking to delete the keyframes and we can modify this continuously by kind of jumping Whoops, modifying the size there, which we can also do. So let's just zoom in a little bit more. It's going to be hard to grab this when it's such a small box sometimes. So you can see we've got a little bit of jumpiness there between some of those keyframes. If you want to add or modify the specific keyframes, um, then you can move between the keyframes up here in the inspector by jumping left and right. So we can move between those specific keyframes. And we'll see here. If we jump left and right in our timeline, we can see that we're moving between those keyframes. And that's nice because it means that if we need to make fine adjustments, we know that we're not adding extra keyframes there, which is going to um, make the, the jumpiness come back of our animated mask. So that's a very quick overview of how to, first of all, mask out a static area and blur out static area of your video and then a quick introduction into how we can mask out a moving area of your video we haven't completed this here for the whole video but maybe we'll trim this down so that the whole section that we're showing here has that small area of text so for a number plate or something like that and um, this would be a useful way of blurring that section of the video out i hope that's been helpful if you have any questions about final cut pro then please do leave a comment below and i look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.